and greetings from Hugara. Yes, Hugara. Actually, I never thought we would ever go into a place like this, but we did. Am I happy about it? Ah, that would be an exaggeration. But there are also, you know, there are some good things about it. Many bad things. So what's bad? What's good? Let's see. I mean, the town isn't isn't that pretty. So that's like, it's not it's not a winning, right? The good thing is there's lots of accommodation. Uh, you know, lots of Airbnbs as well, not only like hotels. So it's a fair competition. So you can find, you know, fairly good price. So great is, of course, the quality, you know. It's, we're in Egypt, right? A pretty decent place for, you know, good money, pretty cheap. There, you know, shops, you know, like supermarkets, like the Metro, you know, so you can, you know, buy stuff, you can buy groceries, you know, for a regular price. So you don't have to worry about that. Bad, bad side, there's lots of restaurants, you know, that are quite pricey with tourist prices. But yeah, you can cook for yourself. I don't know if you want that on your holiday. For us, it's different because we, you know, live like this permanently. There are also, you know, like falafel stands, you know, uh, shawarma, you know, koshari, you can find uh, regular Egyptian uh, uh, food for pretty regular prices. And uh, of course, also lots of, you know, people in your face. Lots of, lots of shops, lots of, you know, souvenir shops. And so there's quite a number of touts, scammers. I don't know, I don't know if I should yeah, use the name, uh, that name all the time, but it's not as bad as looks are. I think they see, you know, the difference, you know, between us and, you know, the two week tourists from, from the Ukraine, but I'm not sure. But the one thing that I'm most pissed off is the beaches, the sea. This is like the main boulevard that runs along the coast. And here, of course, next to shopping centers, you know, with absurd prices, there are lots of these resorts, you know. They're blocking the way to the sea, to the, to the beach. Who lets that happen? It's the government, right? So. These, these resorts, they just buy land and buy the public beaches. Talk to locals and, you know, lots of them are pretty pissed off. You can go to the beaches, you can go to these resorts, but they don't come cheap, of course. So outrageous, I, I don't even, you know, find words that would not be victim of censorship. Few places that would be, you know, still free to, to go down or be in plastered with the new resorts see here you could have gone through here but that's over too some of the resorts don't let actually public the public in even if they pay so they only let they're only there for their own guests which we you know who, who enjoy of having a free uh, beach all to themselves find words that describe how much this disgusts me. So, and, and you know, comes to the fact that, you know, this is pretty a ridiculous place, you know, it's not like not an authentic place. I mean, people who come here on holiday think they're coming to Egypt, but this is not Egypt, of course. This is just some, some strip with restaurants and, you know, Bäckerei Zeitlos, is a, that means bakery in German, so it's a German bakery, the German restaurants, the Ukraine restaurants, the Russian restaurants, shops. Big joke, you know. Thing that has been built for consumption, and pure consumption. Here's another, another one of these Hans summer resorts. Yeah, you pay 50 pounds, Egyptian pounds, to get in per person. What's that now, four dollars US? Maybe something like that, which is, you may think it's not so much money, but actually, if there's a few of you just per day, just think about it, just an extra 10, 20 US on these orange beach. It's also 50 pounds to get in. Of course, I'm, I'm sure they'll give you a chair with it. Although I'm not sure. Probably can, you can also buy some overpriced food, overpriced drinks. I'm not sure. Don't go for that. I mean. The day that I go to a resort like that will be the day that I say goodbye to international travel. Get me wrong. If I were you, if, you, if, you, if I was, you know, just living somewhere, you know, like 
permanently, have a job, and I, you know, found this this offer to fly to Egypt to Hurghada, and you know, I'll probably go for it. But then I'll go for you know, to the for, you know for the for the resort thing, you know, do two weeks, you know, all inclusive or you know maybe not all inclusive, but you know, have your have your beach, have your food, you know, not be cheated anymore. So maybe I would do that actually, doing it, you know, independently like us. Yeah, that's like, that's a lot worse. So there's diving centers, of course, if you, this is a great place to go diving, you know. Uh, it's very beautiful to see, I will show you. And you yeah, can see the Aliyah Beach Resort. I'm not sure if they let you use their beach, but you know, for money, most things are possible in Egypt, right? Said that for money. Most things are possible everywhere. Here, among other places in the, on, on this planet, it's just a bit more obvious, you know. See, here's another Ramosa Beach Club. Maybe you, you can use this here. Ah, uh, beach? How much to go? How much? 30. 30. 30. Ah, uh, more cheaper than orange. Orange 15. Come see. This mean ah 13, yeah, 30. Ah, better. See here, cheaper than the orange, but I don't know what you get. Huh? Swizzla. Ah, that's alright, dude. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. I don't know what he's on, but this is what, another thing that, you know, kind of is not the greatest thing here. He's like, anyone you talk to, you know, like walking along the strip, you know, if you have a question, you, you know, I ask someone a question, simple question. And they'll turns out they have a shop or a boat or a taxi or whatever. I'm bitching. I'm bitchy. I'm bitching all the time. Ticket, you know, that's that's the way it is for me if I'm being constantly you know reduced to my financial status, balance of my bank account. Feels like my money is more welcome here than actually me. Wrong, there's lots of tons of great Egyptians I've met, you know. Uh, it's just hardly ever in places of tourism. So, if you don't want that, you know, if you don't want to pay somewhere to get in, you know, especially you pay once a day and you cannot leave and go and leave and go, you know, it's, uh, it's not the same thing. Um, yeah, then you're gonna have to walk a bit like we are doing it now, you know, we just keep walking. Uh, along the main boulevard and you will eventually reach a you know a place for free yeah another another beach another you know opportunity to spend some money at the Roma beach yeah I don't know how much it is well probably 40 50 it's that this other one was only 30 but maybe it's a bad beach, I don't know. This is well kept here. It's not really a beach, you know. They call it beach club, but it's just that strip there, you know, with your beach beds and a cafe. But see, you can see the, the sea, the Red Sea, how beautiful it is already. But let's go a bit further. Let's say we'll walk about 20 minutes that way. It's not so bad, I mean, there's sun, but, which is quite strong, but not like super strong. It's not like you're in Southeast Asia. Uh, so it's a, good, it's a good walk and it's not humid, so it's not really hot, although the temperature is high. Lots of these studios for rent. They say cheap, but I don't know. Prices like elsewhere rise with the arrival of tourists in the way to the beach. You find das deutsche Restaurant, Strand Restaurant. Yeah, it's a German German restaurant at the beach. You know, you don't see much. <laughs> if that's your thing, you know, it's probably not cheap. I right, check it out there. They got Sahnehering, Rinderroulade, Kohlroulade, Käsekuchen, Apfelkuchen, Schokokuchen. Ah, oh, oh, not right now. I'm not hungry. Maybe later, eh? Okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will not be eating there, of course. But, yeah, if you want a German restaurant, there you have it. 
and you have a beach probably I'm not sure we've been walking now for about 20 minutes it's not so bad from our from our apartment so want to go and walk 20 minutes along along that road maybe it's 15 I don't I didn't even I didn't even check another big resort it's probably not the kind that lets you in for a fee I mean, it depends on the on the fee probably no I don't think so that's like where that's where I don't know if the that's where the rich people say I'm not sure it looks like a rich expensive place but I remember like in Europe I remember seeing Hurgada popping up for you know cheap holiday packages you know but I'm not sure I don't yeah probably still you know you fly here you live here you eat here and you pay a certain sum and since there are quite a few of these resorts prices are in competition so lots of bad right I mean I would definitely not come back to Urgada it's it's just not it's not just a re it's not a real place it's just something that has been established to milk the cow and for foreign tourists you know to have their vacation their little dream okay so I brought you here to that one place where you can go without paying a fee and it's beautiful and by the way see we're like outside of the city already you know Rugada lies past us you know this is like the outskirts and that's where you have to go they're building here so it don't you think you know this will be forever in a few years you'll have to walk further of course you can take a taxi or even a micro bus but anyway we have to climb this and we here and now look at that huh how beautiful is that huh it's amazing and that's that one thing that makes a difference you know I can totally live without ever coming back to Urgada but this check out the colors check out the turquoise turquoise colors the blue the different colors I mean it's not sandy beaches that's okay there's plenty of sand plenty of rocks too but it's on all the beaches but check it out how beautiful this is let's find the, re the right spot to climb over yesterday and I saw you know plenty of people you know climbing this even like old people fat people you know all kinds of you know particularly local people but also some some foreigners so it's not not only us who try to beat the system let's go over here all right see hey guys you can come through here check it out yeah <laughs> she wants a proper door of course anyway guys come on can you make it oh good oh danger hey see that's quite a big area ah some guys with ugly pit bulls but it's all right it's it's a stretch and then over there next there's another resort a big big resort we also went there yesterday and then as another stretch but it's not that, that that one is very it's much nicer there I think at night uh, local people you know some people go drinking and then they throw the their beer bottles you know down and so there's all broken glass at the beach maybe it's the owners of the of the resorts they want to make sure you have to go to the resort but here no broken bottles except for these dogs ah uh, maybe they're not pit bulls uh, yeah I'm not I'm a friend of dogs but not these dogs uh, nice I'm liking at least you have the chance to beat the system the, the beat the corrupt system of stealing no buying land and yeah it's charging for it here not here still still there's even some foreigners as well it's not only us other people are coming here too but it's more of a local beach of course see it's nice I'm liking 
Great. I'll go in the water in a bit. It's cold. I mean, it's not like, yeah, this ain't Southeast Asia, right? And also, it's March, you know. I suppose it will be hotter in summer. Well, but it's still okay. You, you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy. But I'm like, I'm not too great with cold water. Ah, yeah. So what is that over there? Is that an island? I don't know. Of course, this is this is the Red Sea, and it's not red. Surprise, surprise! It's blue. They've been feeding us lies all the time. The Red Sea is not red. It's blue. Different kinds of blue. And check out how clean it is. What I call clear water. What an amazing place, huh? Wow, so, so clean. Clean water, fresh water. Not fresh water, salt water. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Red Sea. And check it out. Of course, there's lots of diving going on in the Red Sea. There's lots of snorkeling. This is, this is the place to be if for that. I think it's one, one of the most spectacular places in the world. But yeah, Hogada. And it makes me sad. Uh, the circumstances of Hurghada make me sad. But it, this like almost makes, makes up for it, you know. Being here for a few days and going to this beach, looking at this sea and on the other side, I suppose, I think this might be, might, is this the Sinai Peninsula? I'm not sure. <laughs> that way it will be Saudi Arabia or well, that way will be Sudan uh, Cairo is that way I think here's also see this is a place where you can sit at night drink drink beer smash the bottles leave you know garbage so that's like the not so nice area but it's, it's just just here so you still have plenty of nice on this beach, or should I call it, in this area. Anyway, so we're gonna go further down there, that we're completely left alone. Yeah, see, see the sea. <laughs> that was a little joke. Uh, yeah, see this is a dog swimming. You also, there's lots of fish. Of course, you cannot see it like this, but I spotted lots of fish. There's lots of fish I'm in here, actually. Also, I think people who just, you know, go fishing for the heck of it because they like it. I like say this makes up for it. It does in a way. But yeah, even here they're, they're you know, broken glass. Not so bad, but still. These people don't have any respect for, you know. They don't, they just don't care, you know. They just want to drink their beer and throw the bottle. That's it. Disgusting. But still, you know, let's swim a little bit here. Okay, guys. Yeah, so it's all right. It's pretty cool, actually. But yeah, it's a bit cold still. But I'm going to go in and swim a little bit, a little bit later. Okay, guys. Yeah, if you're here, come to this place. Or actually, if you don't mind the money, go to one of the nice beaches. I don't know. It's, um, yeah. The, I was wondering what do I love, what do I hate about Hogada. And what I love is this. But that's about it, I think. All right. Yeah, sorry. That's the way it is. But this, I love a lot. A lot. Easy. So let me put it this way, if you, if there wasn't this, you know, free public beach, it'd be pretty bad here in Hukada, really. So this kind of like makes up for it a little bit, you know, because it's nice. 
and there's further you know further down there you go of course there, there's more or more there's there's long 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 beaches of course yeah but am i gonna come back here <laughs> no sure as hell not but it's we can you know manage a few days all right guys take care and subscribe if you haven't already bye bye